Ausenma Automatically Following Unmanned Aerial Vehicle The Product Tutorial Installation Instruction Blade installation overlook the vehicle and M1, M2, M3 and M4 are used to identify the motor. In M2 and M4 motor, the clockwise rotating blades are installed and then the black caps are screwed on the blades at a clockwise direction. In M1 and M3 motor, the counterclockwise rotating blades are installed and then the red caps are screwed on the blades at a clockwise direction. Legs installation. Inverse the aircraft and two legs are placed in the corresponding position and the screws are used to lock the legs. Wings installation. The four wings are installed in the aircraft limbs respectively and then fixed tightly. Battery installation. Before the installation, please make sure the switch button is closed. Take out the aircraft lithium batteries. Put the flat surface up and promote the fuselage. Battery charging instructions. The product is equipped with a dedicated battery charger. Please plug one end of the battery plug to the adapter before charging. The other end is plugged into the charger or computer USB interface. The mobile phone USB can also be used. The charging plug is over 1A. Preparation before flying. The introduction of hand switch of America and Japan. The factory setting of the product is defaulted to American hand switch. First confirm that the aircraft was turned off under the shutdown state of the remote control. The left and right analog sticks are moved simultaneously to the upper right direction. At the same time, open the remote control switch and you can see the LED flashing. This means it is into left and right switching mode and then the right analog stick was set to the right which is switched to the right hand mode. In the same way, the right analog stick is set to the left which is switched to the left hand mode. Finally, press the confirm button. Code match. Insert the battery into the aircraft fuselage. LED on the front downward and the behind downward aircraft flight and utter drop. Then open the power switch of the remote control and here drops prompt. The code match of the aircraft is successful. In order to fly more safely, please start the aircraft after the completion of receiving satellite between the aircraft and the remote control. The aircraft is placed on the ground. Switch back and forth four times at the position one and two. Pick up the aircraft at a horizontal direction and rotate it six circles at the clockwise direction. After calibration, the white lights of the former and later arm lights are in a flashing state and then put the aircraft back to the ground and return to the normal work. Flight mode instructions. Lock and unlock the aircraft. The left and right analog sticks are set at a splay direction on both sides for three seconds and unlock the vehicle. The blades rotate and push up the left analog stick. The aircraft fly and the aircraft land the left analog stick is pulled down and not loosened, and the aircraft is locked. A key takeoff and landing. The mode switch is set to position 1, 2, and 0, respectively. Press continuously the button of a key land and take off for three times. The aircraft takes off automatically and hovers at the height of about 1.5 meters. A key to landing is in the same way. Basic Operations the left analog stick of the remote control is pushed upwards or down, and the aircraft will rise or decline. Release the analog stick and make it naturally back. The aircraft will hover. Push the left analog stick to the left or right, and the aircraft will rotate to the left or right. The right analog stick of the remote control is pushed upwards or down, and the aircraft will fly forward or backwards. Push the right analog stick to the left or right. And the aircraft will fly to the left or right. Fix tight mode. The mode switches are set to 1, 2 and 0 position respectively. When GPS signals are not received, the fixed high mode can be accessed. When GPS signals are well received, the fixed point and height mode can be accessed. Under the fixed height mode, push the accelerator analog stick. When the aircraft rises up to the required height, the accelerator is released and goes back to center. 
and the aircraft will maintain the current level. Under the mode of GPS fixed point and height, the left and right analog sticks are loosened and the aircraft keeps current height and position. Then SW2 is switched to one position and the standard mode can be switched. This means GPS signals are not received. Automatically following mode. Under the GPS fixed point mode of the aircraft, press the button of the left side of SWC and the automatically following function is started. The aircraft automatically rotates until the camera aims at the position of the remote control while the relative distance is kept. When the remote control moves, the aircraft moves in a relative distance. Then press the button again and the automatically following function can be cancelled. Cabintra's surrounding flight. Under the GPS fixed point mode, the aircraft hovers 3 to 5 seconds and then SW1 is switched to 2 position and the hovering position of the aircraft will become a point of interest. Push the forth and back analog sticks to control the flight surrounding radius. Push the left and right side analog sticks to control the aircraft clockwise or counterclockwise surrounding point. When the adjustment is completed, let the aircraft hover again and then the aircraft will execute the flying instructions of surrounding point. SW1 switch is back to one position. The surrounding point function can be cancelled. A key return under the GPS fixed point mode, the SW2 is turned to 3 position and the aircraft starts the return instructions. When the condition of GPS is poor, the aircraft will return to the unlock position. When the condition of GPS is good, the aircraft will return to the position of return voyage instructions of the remote control. When the SW2 is dialed back to 2 position, the return instructions can be cancelled. return out of control. Under the GPS fixed point mode, and as the aircraft loses a remote signal or the remote control is directly closed, the aircraft will automatically enter into the uncontrollable mode and the aircraft will return and land to the unlocked position. The high precision gyroscope protection system is used in the aircraft. It can be applicable to the different degrees of bad environments. The protection instructions of the low voltage alarm. When the aircraft is in a state of low voltage, the aircraft will launch low voltage alarm and the buzzer on the remote control drips drops alarm and the lights flash on the right side. When low voltage alarm starts, there are two to three minutes of safe flight time, then fly back to replace batteries as soon as possible. Note, when there is low voltage alarm, please pull the height of the aircraft as low as below 15 meters. When there is a yellow light, the aircraft should be reduced to less than 10 meters. The use and instructions of the camera. Two wirings of the camera are inserted to the corresponding connectors respectively. Then the camera is fixed to the corresponding four screw sockets and the screws are used to lock the four corners. Open the battery cover of the remote control. Four AA batteries are correctly installed according to the positive and negative electrode and a lid is used to cover it. The brackets of the display screen are corresponding and assembled. Install the display screen and twist the antenna and then the whole display screen is installed on the remote control. After it is assembled, open the switches of the remote control, aircraft and camera respectively. Then push upwards the switch on the right side of the remote control. Press the button on the right side and start the function of the camera video recording. After its completion, the camera can enter the SWD and the left key is for taking pictures and the right key for video. A professional aerial photo is open from this side. Thank you for watching the Ausenma automatically following UAV video tutorial.